Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this video, we're going to install OBS Studio and we will also learn how to do a screen recording. So we'll be sharing the settings for screen recording. Once you have watched the whole video, you will be able to do a screen recording by yourself through OBS Studio. So let's get started. So open any of your browser and type OBS Studio and hit enter. So the very first result will come HTTPS OBS project.com so we just need to open that and here we get the option OBS Studio Windows Mac OS and Linux we all know that OBS is a open broadcasting software through which we can do screen recording as well as we can do streaming so I'll click on Windows since I'm using Windows so once we do that a small file will be downloaded of 86 MB and once it is downloaded we will open it so once it is downloaded we just need to open that and it it's saying opening file and it will ask you to say yes so I'll click on yes and then we will get a new window like this welcome to OBS studio 27.1.3 setup so we just have to click on next and there is a license information we just have to click on next and here it is going to install in C program files OBS studio so if you want to change the location you can do that I do not have any good reason to change any location so I'll click on install it is installed and there is a check mark launch OBS studio so I'll just put a check mark I'll leave the check mark and I'll click on finish and very soon we will have a new window appear and it says auto configuration wizard optimize for streaming recording is secondary optimize just for recording I'll not be streaming so you can since we are going to record so I'll click on optimize for recording and here we just need to click on next now this auto configuration wizard will also give you video settings so it depends on the hardware which we are using and base canvas resolution I can see it's 1080p so I don't have to we don't have to change here because it is auto selected by the hardware configuration we have and here is the FPS so again either 60 or 30 but prefer 60 when possible so this is a default thing I'll not make any changes here I'll just click on next and I can see recording encoder recording quality and resolution and output resolution we just have to click on apply settings and once it is done here you will see the sources so just do a right click in the sources and go to add and since we are going to do the recording so here we will select display capture and you can give a name here so I'll give a name or you can leave as it is make source visible that's fine we just have to click on OK and a new window will appear like this it's showing us the screen and I can see the display which we have set and we just have to click on OK and here we can click on start recording and it will start recording the screen however before we do that just click on settings because we have some more screen settings which we need to follow so once you click on that here we, we have general stream in general you can change the language and theme sort of things and in stream other things which I'll show in my next video and here we need to go to output because we are going to do the recording so I can see the recording path here so it's going to videos folder which is the default one and if you click on browse you can change the location you can, if you want to select the desktop then you can do that so I'll just leave documents and select videos which is the, the default location and recording quality same as stream 
so from here we can change the recording quality it is high already set and recording format so there are there are many formats which but I would recommend to go for mp4 because it is a easiest format and it is acceptable in almost every platform so recording in MP mp4 format is, is good and here we can select the encoder again you can select hardware or software so I'll just select software x64 which is better and once you do that you just need to click on apply and at the left hand side we have audio so here I can see the sample rate 44 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz so if it's selected 44 here don't make any changes since it is already selected 48 for me so I'll just leave as it is from channel you can select mono or stereo that is absolutely fine and this global audio device from here you can select your microphones here so if you have uh, the microphone or if you have uh, if you're using any software you can select from here the audio device and once you are once you have selected you just need to click on OK so once it is done you can simply click on start recording and it has already started the recording so if we want to check which file I'll just open this and we will go to videos I can see the file which has been created so basically it gives us it gives us a name 2021 29th of November so this file has been created right now and I'll just click on stop recording and if I go back to the folder I can see this video That's recording been. so this is how you can do a screen recording in OBS studio please let me know if you also need streaming settings for whether it's a low-end or a high-end computer for lag free streaming let me know in the comment section I'll try my best I'll do the research and I'll come up with the best settings for streaming as well please let me know in the comment section if it has helped you and hit the like and subscribe I'll see you in the next video have a wonderful day and guys there is one more thing which I forgot to mention that if your computer is working slow like the performance is not good so before installing OBS I would recommend to go through in the video description where you will find how to make the PC faster so optimize your computer and then install the OBS studio I hope you have enjoyed the video have a wonderful day again